all Quirk of N N1 X setup, aka Silka Bohan, aka Shadow Pilot, aka I think he's having another time here. Mario! Uh, and of course, I have I'm back, baby. I mean, you are back. This is this is MSM on a Monday, bro. A lot of people miss this. Um, Seto is actually gonna be the one on the Mario here. I doubt it's fine. I doubt it's fine. Yeah, by the way, hopping straight to our first game. Like, uh, that would be the Fox and Mario. Uh, we're gonna be seeing uh, quite a lot of that. Now, like I said, the uh, Seto is going to be on the Super Mario. This is a matchup that I tell people it, it felt like the classic matchup back in the platform in the Mario venue, but it's changed now here in Ultimate. Uh, I had this thought process in my head. Mario is a character that's still a strong all rounder, but there is so much in the cast now that they just out. I think I'll do Mario, and I feel like Mario has a tougher time in Ultimate than he did back in Smash 4. Where he kind of outdid most of the cast here, especially for Fox. He used to outdo some of the cast, and now it's like, wow, I have to work a lot to get kills, and my kill confirms are inconsistent. Not a fun time here. SoCal Gohan, or AKA Seto. He is, uh, honestly, he can be a really, really simple. He gets that forward air, gets him off the stage, and then that's going to be the first one. Yeah, we do see that, uh, that first stock uh, being closed out. Uh, now, for this matchup, uh, I've seen a. Uh, I too have seen uh, quite a bit of content uh, between these two characters, and I think the uh, the fact that uh, you know Fox here is a, a bit of a fast faller it does make it a bit easier for Mario to uh, extend those combos. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we are seeing here now we uh, we are playing on uh, Town and City, so this is a fantastic stage for actually both these characters. Uh, but Mario uh, has quite the favorable uh, ladders with his blast zone, specifically on top. And that's the thing here too, is that the Mario combos are really strong against a character like Fox, and because he's a fast faller, it'll make things really difficult. Like right there, that dash attack, because it lasts so long, he can stop more of Fox on the Firefox. In terms of recovery here, he's gonna dip a little bit too low. So unfortunate SB there from uh, Seto. And, and the, the reason he here is he wants to avoid getting that getting edge guarded by Mario, right? Like you see how Seto is so persistent there. But unfortunately for Iron Bad Navy, like he just went a little bit too low and tried to survive. All right, landing there here finally gets it down to a little bit of a forwarder action. He's got some stage control here, not able to close into another combo, but I think for him back, baby, at this point here in the game, he wants to avoid unnecessary damage. Like you said, being a fastball is so hard, and he's trying to land here, but unfortunately, Seto is not giving him the time, and then he finally gets the back and reads the illusion here, and that'll be the first game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, before that, uh, <laughs> before that fourth match, uh, so that that stock, you can really see that, uh, you know, uh, the Mario was actually making absolutely uh, positive sure that uh, he kind of made sure that that Fox actually had like no options and he was pressuring him. He took advantage of the fact that Fox was uh, he knew he was a little probably a little hesitant to approach. Uh, he was playing a bit more defensive and definitely capitalized off of that. Yeah, that's the thing here. Like too, Fox's recovery is very linear. It has the very simple game plan of cool. You have the Fox solution. You do have the Firefox. You can angle at several angles. But none, at the end of the day, those angles in the illusion, it becomes predictable. And since Mario's force smash does last a little bit out there and it sticks out, it can't catch Fox there on the recovery here. But it's going to be game two between both players. Honestly, I'm thinking Seto is going to continue on this onslaught like he does with this down throw forward smash. Gets that water in, waits for the recovery. But unfortunately here, I'm back will be able to slip through the cracks. Not enough Seto looking to punish that landing there with a the dash attack. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm back, baby, uh, with an explosive start. Already putting out 107 to this uh, Fox and carrying him just from left to right on uh, on final destination here. Looks like he's gonna probably be able to close up this stock pretty fast. Yep. And right as I say that, closing out that first stock with the uh, up smash. Yeah, and it's good too because at that point he's reading the landing and he knows. Cool. He wants to stop getting juggled. The thing here is when you're getting juggled, you want to aim towards the side of the stage to grab the ledge, get that ledge of its ability, and then go from there. But unfortunately for I'm back, baby. He did end up losing a lot here. Seto looking for another grab. He's able to find that. No down throw, no down there. Unfortunately for him, he still, still has this lead. The thing here for I'm back, baby, is he wants to be able to finally get those narrow confirms. But unfortunately, holding that control stick and that up smash a little bit too long is going to be his demise. Well, going for that forward air. Not quite making it. Uh, you know, one thing that we are, uh, that I'm, I'm noticing a lot is that, uh, I'm, ba uh, I'm back, baby. Uh, or no, uh, Seto is the boss. Uh, he's not trying to commit too hard to going off stage. I, think he's, uh, I don't know if it's the way the Mario's been playing off stage with the back airs, but he has been staying towards the center of the stage. 
uh, quite a lot, quite a bit, and hasn't been committing too far uh, to the death guard. That's the thing, too, is if you're fighting against Mars, you have to be careful. He does have a lot of force to give you. If you're Fox, just that blood will be enough to actually push away from being able to use Illusion or even Firefox at times. The water will douse the fire. <laughs> no fun intended there. And that's why you kind of want to be careful on how you get edge guarded. If you stick to the center stage, you get to take stage control, but you also don't have to worry about getting edge guarded against Fox. That was a nice attempt at the Nair to kind of stop the recovery from Seto against Seto. But unfortunately, he was just so low they can actually hit him with the up B. Yeah. And he was so he was so low from Fox, he can also get an smash and read the landing. But like I said, it's just the landing. I feel like I'm back, baby. Has to really look at his landing, but also I do like that he's looking at his positioning at the very least. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it looks like uh, there's a slight bit of overcommitment from uh, Seto losing that uh, another stock to that uh, that pivot up smash. Um, yeah. There's certain percent where you can always look out for Mario. Mario, like, you can kind of tell sometimes when they start pushing for it because they'll start trying back and forth. Is that another? No. Okay. I keep forgetting that Fox is actually, uh, his, his recovery is uh, pretty decent in this game. It's not like a, like a drop of damage to the Falco in the last game. Yeah, it's, it's still like the same Fox recovery you know since all the way from Smash 4. Um, even all the way back in Brawl, it's been the same recovery even all the way from Melee. But the thing here is, yeah, Fox has an easier time of recovery. He can choose to hog the sides of the stage like that, but unfortunately the up smash here for I'm back in will spell death at the back throw and rough as the eye you can see there here and Seto will take this two. Oh! Yeah. I'm stop dude, okay. The thing about that though is like I've had this conversation with someone before. 